Alright, this is a quick video for anyone who needs to open a Chave Rogue R2 wash and in particular to uh, change out the power supply. Of course, all caveats apply. If your unit is still under warranty, then it's best to take it to an authorized service center so that you don't void your warranty by opening it up. If you're not comfortable doing work like this, then have someone do it that is. On the other hand, if you're like most of us, the main thing you're uncomfortable about is just what you're going to see when you get inside the unit and how to get there. So this video will try and help with that. This is a look at the actual power supply and you can see the model number on the screen. Also, you're more than likely going to need a fuse for the US model. This is the fuse that you'll be needing. You'll need a number one and a number two Phillips screwdriver for this project. You'll have to remove the front and rear panels of the unit and the sides. You'll need to remove the two Phillips screws at the top of the unit, as you see here indicated. You'll have four Phillips screws in the corners of the front panel to remove, as indicated here. You'll have the very same thing on the rear of the unit, which is two screws at the top, Phillips screws, and there will be four more Phillips screws in the corners. Just remove all of those. Once those are removed, you can come to the side and you'll have two recessed screws on each side of the unit, which are indicated here. Those are Phillips screws. You'll want to remove those. You'll leave the handle Allen heads in. Once you do that, you can pull the sides away. It'll look like this with the sides pulled away from the unit. It's not necessary to remove any of the connectors on the front and back of the unit. All that wiring can stay in place. You only have to remove a few wires from the power supply itself to remove it. Now that you have the front, the sides, and the back off the unit, flip it on its side. This will allow us access to the recessed screws at the bottom of the fixture that actually holds the power supply in the unit. I've marked four screws here that you'll need to remove. This essentially just removes a piece of ballast from the bottom of the fixture. That piece of ballast actually hides some of the screws that you'll need to get to to remove the power supply. The power supply is connected with some recessed Phillips head screws that I've marked here. Also one of the recessed Phillips head screws is hidden underneath one of the feet of the fixture. I've marked it here. You'll have to remove this foot from the fixture to have access to this last recessed Phillips screw. Once those recessed screws are removed, the power supply itself will no longer be connected to the unit. At this point, you can disconnect the wiring if you haven't already disconnected the wiring. I've marked it here. There's one plug on the right, and there are three wires that connect on the other side of the unit. Should go without saying, but just a reminder, make sure there's no power to the unit while you're doing this. The plug simply disconnects, as you can see on the right. And here's a close-up of the plug before it's disconnected. As for the three wires on the other side, you'll want to make sure and mark where these wires go so you can put them back in the right place later. They will actually individually disconnect with a Phillips head screw. As you can see, you'll need to take the screws completely out to remove these wires from the uh, connection block here. Once the screws are removed from the bottom and the wires from the top, the power supply is ready to come out. This is a look at the bottom of the power supply after it's been removed from the unit to show you exactly where the screws are just so you can have a better reference where to find those screws on the bottom of the unit as you're trying to search them out from the uh, underneath the ballast and from underneath the foot. This is a look at the top. The power supply easily slides out of the unit once all the wires are disconnected from it and the screws are removed. At this point you're ready to reverse the process and put everything back together. Put the recessed Phillips screws back in the bottom, replace the ballast, replace the foot that was hiding the one screw, make sure your connections are back together with the plug and the wires on the input, replace the front and the back and the sides, make sure your new fuse is in the unit, and at this point the fixture should be uh, ready to go back into your inventory and ready to go do a show.